Hello, welcome back to my- <coughs> My god, it's smoky in here. Sorry. Can you open the <coughs> door? Yeah, I have the red pepper flakes on the heat. You also use the cast iron. I yes. fresh air. Hold on. <laughs> I inhale so much. <coughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today- Oh my- It is so smoky in here. Today, Nathan cooked eggs on the cast iron and smoked up the apartment. I can't breathe. And also, we bought a new bookshelf. It's just this bookshelf, but another one. So we're going to unhook this one and take these down and move it aside. Maybe if you're tall enough, we can put these up there and make, every, make those feel you know, look even taller. Yeah. So, <coughs> also, we need to kind of tune this up because this is a hazard and a problem. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's really smooth. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I need some juice. <laughs> need some milk. Ooh, I'm gonna have one of the new things. I have a toolbox. Here are my bookish prints. This one is Ways to Say I Love You from Books. Hey, there's a typo on this. I made it, so that's my own fault. <laughs> this is an AI generated picture of me and Nathan at the Yule Ball. It's really cool from far away. If you get up close, our faces are kind of weird, but that's fun. Yes, it is. We gotta move it all the way. And we just gotta flip this. Right here. So this can like touch this. Okay. It's just gonna hide all the cords there. Then we have this Akatar thing I made. It's alphabet soup. And it's fair saying you love me, and then it says then eat. If you've read if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I, th I think it's so clever. I came up with that one myself. This one is... Got, I might update these before we hang them up, too. But these are some of my favorite books from the point in my life when I made it. So it's got All Your Perfects, The Love Hypothesis, You Again, Beach Read, Evelyn Hugo, Flawless, Terms and Conditions, Harry Potter, Fourth Wing, Mr. Fury, and Assistant to the Villain. Maybe I can make some prints with your books too, Bubba. That's what I was going to just ask you. I'll include you now. Maybe since we have so much space, we can get a couple more of these too and make it like a four by two up there. Just leave that there. That is so pretty. Okay, this is flawless. It says, you were out there this whole time and now I know you exist I can't, and I can never go back. Wouldn't want to if I could. With AI generated cowboy boots. <laughs> Gonna vacuum that real quick. Okay, double. Double. Ugh. Uh, this is from Etsy. Well, it's kind of from Etsy. I got the idea from Etsy, but then I changed everything about it. But it's a pick your poison. It's like a little bar scene from Fourth Wing. So it's got like orange liquor and oranges, and it says so strong it will knock you out. If you know, you know. Again. I'll update these when we get some more. I think there's going to be room. I think it's going to be perfect. Yeah. We also need to figure out how to tighten this though. I have to be that. Also, we literally still have the backing, the white backing for this one from when we moved in. That's what that's from. We are so ridiculous. That's funny. I put, so we built this when we moved in, like the day we moved in. <laughs> we still have the white backing by the trash can and we take it out. But it also kind of just looks nice there. Backing up. <laughs> We're I done. forgot what that was. Me too. Well, no, I didn't. I just saw it every time. And then I, and then I was thinking, well, maybe I'll want to use it. 
but then I didn't actually put it in storage. <coughs> my god. I'm gonna switch this to a time lapse on my phone and we can watch Rhett and Link while we build stuff. Here's kind of what we got going on. Everything is a disaster. Um, these are basically all of my books. Um, I'm not really touching the nonfiction because nothing's really changed there. And I also emptied out our fandom shelf and like some other random shelves. So we've got like miscellaneous there. That's Star Wars stuff, Harry Potter stuff, Disney stuff, Marvel stuff, and some Disney stuff that I just needed to put somewhere. So I think the first order of business is going to be over there, kind of redoing the fandom sections. As I ponder what to do here, because I really want to, um, como se you say? I think I want to do it by colors again. And before I didn't, because I was worried about it looking like the series weren't together because the series won't be together. Um, however, so many of my series now are like a mix of paperback and hardcover, which is upsetting in and of itself. We've also got my TBR card here, so I have to make sure that those are all. Also, also making sure that everything is stamped and making sure everything's where it needs to go. And then also going to re possibly redo uh, these bookish prints to include some more Nathan stuff now that he's reading so much. Also, I just learned how to do a French tuck on TikTok today. I ordered some like hair sticks, but this is my Harry Potter wand. So, and it actually, like, I've tried to do this a billion times, but until I saw this girl's TikTok, I just could not figure out how to do it. But it actually works so well and it actually stays like so tight in your hair. Here, actually, let me show you. <laughs> me doing a tutorial and I learned how to do it an hour ago. So you just pull it up like a ponytail. And you like put this on the side and then like use it to wrap around however many times you need. And then up and through. Owie. My hair's a little bit thick and tangled because it was curled. And also this is not meant for, owie, not meant, this wand is not meant for your hair so obviously. It's a bit too difficult. I did with the chopstick pretty easy earlier. There you go. It's literally the tightest hairdo ever. It's so nice. Like, look. It's so nice. This one looks a little bit weird. The other ones that I got are cuter, but. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the fandom one. I'll just do a time lapse of that. And then I'll decide about this. There's so much more room to like put fun stuff now. Oh, so let me know what you guys think. Send vibes through if I should do the colors or not. And we'll see if the vibes reach me in the past.
Okay, we've made much progress over there. I'll give a little tour later. Not too much has like actually changed over there, but I've gotten some things set. So now I'm gonna sort these by color. And as I go, I'm just gonna kind of decide like, oh, this series looks good together. Set it aside so that they can be displayed together. Um, I wanna do it now because I have the Colleen Hoover shelf in my old setup, but I feel like I don't like, I don't need to have a Colleen Hoover shelf. It was just because I didn't have enough space here and I needed something similar to put together. So we're gonna sort these by color and then start distributing them here and see what happens. Here's what we got now. Color coded. Now I'm gonna try and decorate it with pretty covers or things, and then I need to fill in those spots. Now I'm not sure if I have enough things. <laughs> Hi friends, it's a couple days later. I'm actually not even sure how many days later. I love it. As life is won't want to do, what the, is that how that sentence works? Uh, life got away from me. Yesterday was a mess. So, oof. today we're going to Hopefully, we'll see, because I still have, it's also game day. Um, hopefully finish cleaning up the shelf area, finish putting all the shelves uh, back together. But it is April, my watch. <laughs> it's April 9th, which means that Wild Love by Elsie Silver is out, which means that we're going to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> So that's the first order of business, even before making the bed, apparently, because I just realized I forgot to make the bed, but I'm already out the door. So <sighs> I'm doing the hair thing again, the little stick, little hair stick. I got some on Amazon for super cheap. Um, and I mean, because they're super cheap, it's kind of flimsy. So every time I do it, I'm afraid my hair, my hair is very thick and I feel that Amazon hair clips, hair sticks, hair, whatever's are not, um, going to cut it forever. Good mythical morning. Also, it came with the clips that are like this, but I don't know how to use those yet. Zipper. Oh, it is such a mess in this apartment, but I mean, they're looking pretty good. I just need to, there's some stuff just like scattered around from this reorganization that need to be put away. <laughs> All right, two Barnes and Noble. Okay, it's raining. Um, I just got back from Barnes. Um. Two books actually. So a quick little haul. I got oops. oh my god, I love Elsie Silver. My Elsie Silver shelf is still alive and well. It's right there. That's my Elsie Silver shelf. It's hard to see. I'll get I'll do a full tour at the end of the video. But so this is her new series, the Rose Hill series. This is a um billionaire single dad, right? Billionaire single dad who's falling in love with his best friend's sister. It looks very good. Although there was a teaser that came out a couple of days ago where 
he she's like are you single and he's like yeah and he goes are you single and she goes i don't know and he's like next time you ask me that question make sure you are which is but also i hate when there's like another boyfriend that's my only that's all my only issue with uh, love in other words then i also found this new abby jimenez book i've never read abby jimenez before um but i've only heard crazy good things um she owns a bakery that's so fun what's a doglet Anyways, um, this is called Just for the Summer, and it's about um, a girl named Emma who has this curse where every guy she dates, the second they break up, they meet their true love. And on Reddit, she finds another guy who has the same issue everybody he dates finds their true love next. So they decide that they're going to date each other to kind of like break the curse. But he's cute and he's funny. And then... Emma's toxic mother-in-law kind of shows up in their lives and Justin also has to assume guardianship over his three siblings so like life just gets a lot more complicated during their relationship and I assume they fall in love because it's a uh, romance. They always give me a rewards ad as if I haven't been a rewards member almost my whole life. Thank God for Barnes and Noble's quality stickers that just come off. Also, the cover's so pretty. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, so I don't know what the actual cover looks like, but look how pretty this cover is. Really good spine, too. <laughs> this is the spine. Although, this is supposed to look like rough and dirty, but I did think that that was a stain, but I checked all the versions and they all have it, so. Oh. I love how I just said I love the quality of these stickers, and then I think it ripped off part of the cover. It did! Oh, this day. Whatever. I'll survive. Okay. It's been literal days. Possibly a full week since I last filmed. But everything. Oh, we're so busy. Okay. Um, I just finished before I go to practice. Um, the bookish prints to put up. So I'm going to show you those really quick. We've got this Chestnut Springs one, just says Chestnut Springs and Where the Hat Ride the Cowboy. These I just made on Canva. Um, these are all different vials of the metals that are used in the Mistborn Allomancy system. This is a, a book stack of books that I love, such as Draco, <laughs> Draco Malfoy and the Mortifying Ordeal of Being in Love, Flawless Juniper Hill, House of Sky and Breath, All Your Perfects, Fourth Wing, Wings and Ruin, Happen One Summer, Be Treed, Love in Other Words, and Things We Never Got Over. And then we've got the quartz from Akatar. And then I made some AI pictures on Canva. So this is like Nathan and I in a fantasy world. And then this is Nathan and I in Star Wars. So I'm going to put those in little frames and put them up here. I can't decide if I'm going to like make Nathan actually hang them up or if I'm going to like just kind of set them here. But we shall see. Thank you. 